Okay, good morning guys. My name is Mike Fasil and in today's video, we're gonna go talk about the 10 websites to make money online uh, for free. And we are starting uh, now. Good morning guys how's it going uh, another day another dollar here we go if you guys are new to this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want more videos like this where we teach people how to make more money save more money invest more money and create ultimate freedom for themselves and applause to you for showing up and taking your future seriously so But anyways, I wanna go straight into this and woo, we got a doozy for you guys today. It is 10 websites to make money online for free, no credit card required. And I've scoured the internet to find all of the ways that you guys can literally just come in here with no experience, come in and get started. So let's just go straight into it. The first one is userinterviews.com. Now they typically pay you up to $50 an hour to get this feedback of products, services, online stuff. All of this can be done online. And essentially it's all just a focus group to get your opinion on a company's product. It's as simple as that. And the craziest thing with some of these, they actually pay upwards to $200 an hour. Can you imagine just giving your feedback to a company and you get paid $200 for that hour, you just come in here, click earn more, participating, and then you just like put in your information so they could exactly see what type of person you are. That more resonates with the products that they're selling so that they could kind of see, okay, what is their actual target demographic? Is it men, is it women, what age demographic? What country, what state, what that ethnicity? The reason why companies need this is because they need to know, okay, who is our target audience so that we could better communicate to that person? It's the exact same, for, for example, my channel, the reason why I answer all the comments below, so if you want to test it out, just leave a comment below, is I want to see exactly who it is that's watching my video so I could find better ways to serve them and give a better experience. But in this case, you could actually get paid up to $200 an hour for this. But on average, most of the gigs here are $50 an hour. You just click on this, earn more, and you could already get good to go. Now, this is more traditionally focused on US audience members, but it could be happening anywhere worldwide too, except there's like less gigs for those. And you also have to be 18 years old or older to actually make this happen. A second website is kind of very similar to this. It's respondent.io. It's the exact same thing, except the average payout for respondent is around $140 an hour. All you gotta do, same thing, is sign up as a participant, see which one of the open studies that you may qualify for based off of your age, your gender, location, demographic. And once you do that, you can actually sign up for it, participate in the study, get paid upwards to $140 on average for that hour. The only downside is they will take a 5% commission fee from that. So it's not even really that bad, right? So if you get paid, what is that? $150, they would take 5% of that. So that's still just like a little bite from you actually getting paid. And all of this is free. You just sign up as a participant and see, once you click on this, you either put it your email address or Facebook or LinkedIn and say it with the first way, these companies want to find their target demographic and they want to get feedback from them. So you might actually be in one of these companies who has the product and services target demographic, which is why they're willing to pay you that much money. Even though it's $140 on their end, for them, they have millions of dollars in marketing budgets, which is why they need to get the feedback from you to really figure out how can we better sell them more products. So think about it from their point of view as an investment, they're investing in your feedback. And because you're going to be honest and you go through all the questionnaires and you also tell them the type of demographic that you are, they're able to match their marketing message with a broader audience from the information that they get from these like smaller focus groups. The third one is also very similar. It's called ping pong. HelloPingPong.com, 20 to 100 euros per hour. And even though it's in euros, Americans can still apply for this as well. And designers are always looking to talk to people just like you to get feedback on their apps and websites per hour for taking part in our friendly user interviews and user tests. All you need is a stable internet connection and some free time. So that's something that you can definitely check it out, put it up, make money online, get some cash on the side, pretty quick money, don't have to pay a single price. And you can see that you test products from all these things like Skyscanner, Nestle, TransferWise, Zapier, Dropbox. And here are all their frequently asked questions. You just need a PayPal account and your compensation will be automatically paid within seven days after the interview. Please keep in mind that PayPal might charge you a small fee for receiving funds. Here's some of the requirements. And why would anyone pay me this? This is something that everyone asks, especially in they're like, what are you serious? $100 an hour, Mike, is this a scam? Guys, I want to kind of just paint the picture on why people are doing this. When designers are building apps, 
They desperately want to hear what real people think about products they're building. The best way to do that is get through personal and engaging user interviews. It's like, it's like the opposite of what a mom and dad go through. If a kid makes a painting and the painting is ugly, the mom and dad are going to be like, oh, son, daughter, that is a beautiful painting right? Because they're incentivized to lie to not hurt the kid's feelings. Here, it's the exact same thing with businesses and companies. When you're going up to your friends and your coworkers and your neighbors, hey, how is my product doing? They're not going to give you an honest feedback because they love you. But because you are a stranger to these companies and you don't really care about these companies, you can be willing to be as harsh as you want to and they will pay you for your honesty because they will make more money in the back end. So that breaks the category of focus groups and getting paid for the online research and whatnot for companies to pay you. Now let's just go straight to the traditional online business ideas where you don't need a credit card. One of them is Redbubble. It's free to use. All you really got to do to go here is sell your art and it's a free thing that you could start up. You don't have to put in your credit card. I literally created this account within like five seconds and you just come in here and do ad designs and then you just upload new Upwork or new work. Now, the thing about this is I like going to a place called canva.com. Oh, that is a thumbnail of me and my girlfriend for one of our old videos. And what you can do is you could just get one of these cool texts. I voted for insert just like that. And now when I'm here, you could just upload that. Check this out. Now your shirt is on all of these and then you could actually sell it. And the coolest thing about this is you don't have to ship the product. You don't have to actually create the product yourself. You don't have to deal with customer service. All this company wants from you is your design and they handle everything else. And you can see that you don't actually have to be an artist with this. Like one of the best ones that do the best are humor tees or jokes. Like that's what she said. And they're selling it for $19. So you would get a percentage of that if someone comes in here and buys it. And you could see it's a marketplace where same way how people would go to Amazon and type in, oh, I want a cupcake or, oh, I want to get a t-shirt. And Amazon's the one that ships it for you. And Amazon's the one that finds the customers for you. Red Bull Bubble has millions of people going to the site every single day trying to find some type of clothing, right? And they're always going in here, checking what t-shirts they want to buy because they come from people just like you. And really these don't even have to be a designer. You could just capitalize on certain trends and make t-shirts about that. Like, uh, in the first election, one people, so the people that made the most money were the ones that were selling like Trump and Hillary t-shirts, right? Because people were like very strong into certain camps of who they wanted to support. That's why, for example, I made this example on here, which you saw me just upload here for free. Same thing here. Sorry, I'm late. I didn't want to come. This is ranking pretty high from Chestify and they're getting paid 20 bucks. You'll probably get 10 to $12 of that. And that just gets sent straight to you. You don't have to do anything. Like literally all you got to do is just what I did. Make the designs. You can even hire a designer for $5 on Fiverr. You come in here. If I go and buy this because you were the one, like this Chestify guy was the one that created it. He would get paid a commission for him just creating the design on the t-shirt. He didn't have to own the business. He didn't have to hire people. He didn't have to have like a staff of 50, 100 people. He literally just needed to go on Canva, type in something simple as this, put it up, and then people started buying it. So the fifth thing is just recording all of this and just documenting it as you go. YouTube, it's free. Everyone knows it. Like this is a typical thing. I show this video all the time. Like you could see that this has made $65. But the craziest thing is this video is super old and I just documented what I was actually doing. And as you can see in total, this one 17 minute video of me just sharing what I'm learning was 44 grand. Right? I got 44 grand from just documenting what I was doing. So a good way, an inceptive way is to just you document your process of you just testing all of these different things out and maybe just making a video about it, sharing your experience and getting paid for it. The seventh way is recommending high ticket affiliate products, right? <clears throat> so you ever see people that are selling courses like, oh, buy my e-commerce course. You've probably seen a bunch of the annoying ads actually on this specific video uh, because they know people that search for things like making money online, passive income, that they're going to be the ones that actually buy products online. Well, here's the thing. Instead of being annoyed by those ads and almost kind of sometimes buying from these people that are selling like a thousand or two thousand or five thousand dollar program on the back end after their free training. What if you just sold those products? Like it's the exact same thing with the gold rush. You know, everyone wants to work online instead of trying to figure out ways to make money online. What if you sold the opportunity to make money online? And as you can see, if you go to munchai.com, 
you could see all of these things that you could actually promote and get 50% on. So here is a webinar or a masterclass that you've probably seen so many ads on. Some of those products are $3,400. This one teaches people how to do e-commerce and sell physical products online, which is a good online business. If you want to deal with building up a team, dealing with inventory, dealing with a supply chain, which for me, that's why I stopped e-commerce because it was just very complex for me. But as you can see, you could come in here. It's a $3,400 product. You just invite people to an online masterclass and they do the selling for you. You get 50% of that, just like that. That's half of it. And you don't even have to pay anything for this. Anybody could literally apply for this. And all you need to do is focus on building an email list, which if you look at the second link below, I teach you exactly how I built my email list as well. The eighth one is like an obvious one. So I, I don't know why I included this because I've made so many videos about this, but you could sell any service that you guys have on Upwork and five people actually pay you from it. In the previous video that I did, you know, I gave a website where you could basically become a virtual assistant. Well, here you could do the exact same thing, $25 an hour, and you're just helping people with their day-to-day -day tasks, these business owners, these entrepreneurs. So $30, she's made over 10 grand. This person's in the Philippines, she's made over 30 grand. $55 an hour, $35 an hour, $40 an hour, 5K earned. You could see that these are normal, ordinary people. Most of these aren't actually entrepreneurs. They're just freelancers that just wanted to make money on the side, doing what they love, working remotely. This is something that you could literally make money online for free just by giving a service to someone that actually needs it, a business owner or an entrepreneur. The ninth one is text broker, which you get paid for transcribing. Do you need writers to create unique content? They're talking to the business owner like me. For example, I write a lot of blog articles. I create a lot of videos. Sometimes I don't have the time to actually write these long articles. So I would literally have to hire somebody to transcribe it, to put it in a text, to create captivating blog posts for me. You could come in here and get a job there, or you could even just apply on Upwork as well and get a similar gig. You see this person made 20 grand. This person made two grand. This person paid 10 grand for a transcriber, 90 grand from Romania. You do, they don't require any credit card. They just need, this is a remote job, right? So like I said, the cornerstones of creating freedom for yourself is find a way to work online, online job or online business, leave to a cheaper part of the world and earn in US dollars or British pounds. And third, practice minimalism. That is like the cornerstone of my channel. I don't know how many times I have to actually say this. And the last but not least thing, it's Fiverr, guys. You could see if you have an interesting voice, people are charging $100 for performing a deep, unique male voice over customers will love. Look at this. I'll re record a raspy, bassy, deep movie guy pro voice for 25 bucks. Look at this, 832 people and his gigs are starting at $100, right? So if you feel like you're the next Morgan Freeman, you have an interesting voice that people could really fall in love with. You could sell that voice to the masses, my friends. But guys, hopefully this helps. Which one of these ideas did you like the best? Comment below. Also hit a like if you like more videos like this and you want me to drop them and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And guys, subscribe to my second channel. I'm just posting there because I'm, it's like my creative outlet. And if you want to find more personalized conversations where it's like more raw and more uncut and more unfiltered, check that out because this channel is just specifically and strictly make money online. But with anyone else, I'm so grateful for you guys to really support this channel. And I'm excited for you for staying until the end and joining the stay until the end and watching till the end club because it just shows that you are serious in your future. So leave a comment and a like because you're serious of your future and I applaud you. With that being said, outro.